Join the conversation by calling in at 476-1045 or tweet into the show at 1045 the team. It's Big Board Sports with Roger Wyland on 1045 the team. So we get to the end of July. Is Odell Beckham Jr. going to have a new contract, or is this going to linger throughout training camp? And now linger? you want to talk about comments that surprise you? Yeah, huge. I mean, this. I mean, and this was a big story, and that's why we are efforting uh, Zach Brazil. We have him uh, from the New York Post, who wears a number of different hats, but he had his hat on covering. Uh, uh, Odell Beckham Jr. at the youth football camp this past weekend, OBJ told reporters he would not hold out from training camp. Let's try to read into that a little bit. Zach Braziller joins us from the New York Post here on Big Board Sports, a 104.5 team, ESPN Radio. Zach, Roger Weiland, Chris Honorado in Albany, good morning. Hey, what's up, guys? How are you? Hey, Zach. Hey, Zach. How, you, how you doing? Appreciate a few minutes. How did you read into the comments from Odell Beckham Jr. that he would not be holding out from training camp? I mean, he's saying all the right things right now. Um, you know, I mean, we'll see that we got a long way to go before camp. We got five weeks. I'm sure there's going to be some negotiating going on. I mean, I can't see him practicing fully and doing team drills and stuff without a new contract. I, I mean, I don't even know if they're going to plan on him playing him in exhibition games with or without a new contract. And I don't really see what there is to gain there. Um, you know, I could see him being at practice and just, you know, kind of doing the bare minimum, um, until he gets his new contract. Cause, all that can happen is you get hurt again and, you know, further jeopardize things. Uh, but I think it's, I, I think he's going to show up with or without one. Um, I just, I'm not quite sure if he's going to, you know, go all out until he gets that new contract. Zach, how far along do you think this is? And in other words, if he's going to show up at Gi- Giants camp and 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 and, uh, and be the good soldier here, do you think he might? He might, as agent, know hey, we're, we're going to you're going to get your contract. Just continue to do the right things here, and you're going to you're going to hit a home run ball with a payday. Do you think it's that far along with the Giants that that uh, OBJ actually knows a little bit more something than maybe he's letting on? Um, it, it's hard to say. I mean, there really haven't been reports of, of any negotiations going on. But, I mean, I know the Giants at times are, have been able to keep these, this kind of thing pretty quiet. Um, so we'll, we'll see. Um, but, I mean, right now it's, it's pretty quiet. I mean, you really haven't heard much about any, uh, any negotiations going on. I mean, but I think his, him and his Asian stance is pretty similar. You know, they want him to be the highest paid receiver in the league. So it's really up to the Giants to beat those demands. Zach Braziller, the New York Post, with us here on Big Board Sports, 104.5, the team ESPN Radio. Check out Zach uh, on Twitter, at NYPost underscore B-R-A-Z-I-L-L-E. Are you in a wind tunnel, Zach? Where, where do we have you right now? Where did we, Sorry about that. Where did we catch you? Um, I'm actually down at the beach right now. On a, <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Easy, a rare, a rare uh, off day. Nice. Yeah, nice. I love that. All right, so we're by the on an off day. Our apologies for that, but we appreciate <laughs> you, you hanging out and taking the time with us here. Um, I want to ask you one more thing about OBJ, and then I know we want to get to some of what you wrote about Wendell Carter Jr. and his stock rising, whether or not the Knicks are going to have a shot at uh, the Duke freshman. But when it comes to Beckham, uh, what was the mood like when the questions were asked and he actually answered them? Because I guess I was a little surprised he gave the answer he did. Was there an opportunity where you thought, well, he just may not even answer this? Um, I mean, he didn't really, you know, they, 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 they advertised it as a group interview, but it really wasn't. Um, he hasn't really talked fully in a, in a long time. Um, you know, at, at the end of the camp, he was getting a golf cart. A reporter asked him a few questions, and he kind of shot back and answered them. But, you know, it wasn't uh, like he hasn't really actually sat down and talked with reporters since, since before he got hurt last year. So, I mean, you know, so I, I, I it was more than we thought we were going to get. Um, but it really wasn't very extensive. Yeah. All right. So, as my as my colleague uh, pointed out, you, you wear you wear many hats here, not just covering uh, OBJ. What what's your thoughts on on the Knicks? Um, you wrote a piece on Wendell Carter. 
uh, and his stock rising. Carter talked about wanting to play for the Knicks and teaming up with Kristaps Porzingis. Knicks have the ninth pick on Thursday night. What, what's the chances of them drafting Wendell Carter? I mean, I think if he's there, they'll take him. But I, I'd be surprised if he's there. I don't think he's getting past eight, talking to people. You know, you're hearing a lot of different things about the Knicks. You've heard Mikael Bridges. You've heard Kevin Knox. You've heard Sexton. Um, you've heard Miles Bridges. You know, I think secretly the Knicks are really crossing their fingers and hoping that either Carter or, Port or Michael Porter Jr. drops to them. I don't think that's going to happen. I think they're, they're going to eventually go with the safe pick which is Mikael Bridges. He's a defensive-minded wing that they need. He's a 3 and D guy. Um, you know, I, I just don't think it makes sense for them to, to take a boomer bust guy because they just need to stockpile as many good players as possible. And right now, they can't, you know, the way they, where they are, they can't afford to miss on a guy. They need a guy who's going to be a good rotational player. And at nine, the odds of you getting a a big-time star are unlikely. Zach, I only have one more question. Long Island or Jersey Shore? <laughs> uh, the Rockaways. Oh, okay. Nice. Nice. <laughs> All right, Zach. Well, listen, man. <laughs> uh, enjoy your day off. Uh, is it, it, it's, it's, it's hot, right? It's sunny and 80-some <laughs> degrees. It is, it is hot, yes. Well, and enjoy, enjoy the beach and hop some big waves and have some fun. <laughs> All right, thanks, guys. Thanks, thanks Zach. Zach. All right, Zach Brazilla. <laughs>